the 13th uh, Zodiac is this can be unlocked, you know what I'm saying, this year and coming up this year, it can be unlocked. Now, I don't know when it's going to be unlocked exactly, but it, it's got to be unlocked in Ophiuchus. Now, I thought about it, you know, Friday the 13th, <laughs> uh, something happened, you know, 13th, you know, to unlock something. But uh, the, to unlock something concerning the 13th of the sign of the zodiac is what you need to understand that they're trying to lose. Now, the thing is, what well, we got to lose all the stuff. Now, I hope you remember about the uh, Yom Kippur, September 23rd, you know, the Pope came and visited president. You know, that was Yom Kippur. And I did a message on uh, that, what happened is, what they were doing, they were sowing, and I, that was also the beginning of fall. It's the beginning of fall right there. And the beginning of fall is you, you're supposed to establish a harvest. Harvest that will, you know, uh, sow seeds to establish a harvest. What they were doing, they were sowing seeds. As in, you know about those videos, they, I mean, those movies, they were doing things about September 23rd. Bad things happened on September 23rd. You know, this, you know, the, the Fallen Angels released on September 23rd. All these kind of chain events happened on September 23rd. What they were doing, they were sowing seeds for to that time, for it to grow, that it will fulfill something in the future. And I truly think that fulfillment is going to happen on Ophiuchus. And whether it started at the November 29th, or it starts at the end of Ophiuchus, it's September 17th. Whenever that happens, something is going to be fulfilled, you know, in this time. Like, and I just, you know, did a video to show that, you know, Christmas is on, has a full moon. And it's important if Christmas has a full moon that, you know, that, of course, Titmos and Horus birthday, that something is going to fulfill. I mean... Right there, that pattern is crazy. I mean, but here's the thing. Satan knows about the signs of the heavens. He knows about the signs of heaven and how he must construct his plot against humanity. You know what I'm saying? And God is trying to give a plan to come against it. Now, I want to talk about the pro the prophecy. Of, I don't know y'all know about the Dead Sea Scrolls. It talks about the prophecy of the sons of light and the sons of darkness. This what I believe is going to transpire and tra take place that Paul was warning us in 1 Thessalonians 5 and, you know, saying get ready for this to take place concerning putting on the armor of God. This is all about putting on the whole armor of God. You know what I'm saying? This what not being scared that darkness is coming, but it's to follow the word of God pretty much. And put on the whole armor of God and get ready for this spiritual, you know, event to happen that darkness has been, Satan has been plotting for a long time and plotting for years and years for this to happen. That you need to understand that this is going to happen pretty much soon, uh, you know, and, but it has to be done in Ophiuchus. Now, one thing I did not talk about is I was, you know, a person was talking about the processions of the Zodiac concerning the 12 processions of the Zodiac. Uh, now, Ophiuchus is the only, uh, uh, between Orion and Ophiuchus, Ophiuchus is in the Zodiac. See, and the thing is, it, the reason why I pretty much know that they have to do it there, because Ophiuchus is the only person on the Zodiac, the 13th part of the Zodiac. Orion's on the other side. He's not, Orion's not part of the Zodiac. But Ophiuchus is. And that's what the oneness of the alignment is supposed to have been all about. To establish, you know, the plan of darkness that we need to be aware of. That we need to be about, like I said, if you want to be about the kingdom of darkness, I mean kingdom of light, you need to be about putting on the whole armor of God, like the word of God says. And be about fellowship. Be about fellowshipping the word of God among one another, sharing everybody what's going on. Because when it pops off, it pops off. It, it's just like, as Jesus said, the days of Noah, you know what I'm saying? Days of Noah, near the time period of, you know, before the flood. 
know what I'm saying? It's going to get crazy in the release of the uh, Netflix. You know, it's all kind of crazy stuff. It's talking about happening based upon what Enoch prophesied that in 70 generations that these people will be released out of here. It's been, they've been hiding all this stuff from y'all. You know, of course, keeping y'all in confusion, conflict, and chaos and having a church that operates in religion, you know, religious system that will blind the minds of men. The blind, as Jesus talked about, the blind leading the blind and let everybody end up in the pit. You know what I'm saying? That's what religion is all about, blinding people. Like I told you, it's all about having faith. It's all about having faith in God's word. And faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God concerning what the word of God says and not what a man says and what his interpretation of it. But we're supposed to follow the word of God and the instruction of the word of God. But the reason why I say fellowship is what the way to fight is in Ephesians 3, third chapter. You know, it's in Ephesians third chapter that talks about that we're supposed to have victory over these forces. Yes, but in, it's, it's called the fellowship of the mystery of heaven. And the mystery, fellowship of the mystery that we must, the answer is, God always gives us the answer. It's just we strayed away from it because we find ourselves worshiping gods and goddesses and following the wrong direction concerning a religious system. You know, that happened in Jesus' day. You know, Jesus spoke against the Pharisees and Sadducees. And it's like now the Pharisees and Sadducees is using Jesus Christ in this day and age to uh, manipulate people to follow a false way of form of worship that's leading to division and tradition that very things that are contrary of the word of God. But it says in you know, Ephesians 3 talks about and read the um read the uh uh, uh ninth third the ninth verse talks about to make to make men all men to see what is the fellowship of the mystery which is from the beginning of the world had hidden in God who have created all things by Jesus Christ to the tenth verse to the intent that now unto the principalities powers in the heavenly places might not know might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God according according to the eternal purpose which he had purpose in Christ Jesus our Lord. See the whole idea if you keep on reading the idea that that's why I protest about the body of Christ. We're supposed to become one body. We're supposed to become this one body that we will through fellowship, you know what I'm saying, defeat these forces. And become one together. Because you know, I tell people we can only become one in fellowship to defeat these forces that is in the word of God. That we are supposed to defeat them. That I'm giving you these videos and revealing this uh, plot here to help uh, us come together in unity in the spirit. As what is in the next chapter, Ephesians 4. And the thing is, that's what we must understand that we must come to that. If we want to defeat these forces. So that's why I'm giving you this uh, video. And telling you about this old Ryan and old Fiukis, you know, plan. That they're trying to come together. That the church, it's time to get united. You know what I'm saying? It's time to get united in the spirit. Of, in the spirit and united in the faith. That I've been preaching all the time. So preaching the truth. Now, whether you want to believe this or not, it's up to you. But that's the topic of the message. Because... Oh, for you, because like I said, it's November 29th, and it's going to be December 17th. So be prepared and ready for strange events to happen between that time. And, of course, you know that, you know, uh, the full moon of uh, Titmos and Horus, the eye of Horus and all that kind of stuff, uh, birthday is the, uh, December 25th. That you need to be aware of, of a fulfillment of plan concerning darkness. All right, that's the message. I hope you understand it. To God be the glory, Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.